Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. <coughs> Excuse me, it sounds like I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> right, and here we are on uh, or in a new game. Uh, this is uh, Two Point Hospital. Uh, so it's a new series that I'm going to be doing on the channel because this game is just so much fun. Uh, I've been playing it for a while. Uh, I, I've been playing it since it came out, actually, a good two or three years ago. Um, but what I'm doing, I'm restarting it. I'm starting the game again because having played through it quite a lot, you kind of learn um, from your mistakes and you realise what you want to do differently. And I just thought it'd be good fun to get back into it and do it again. Now, for anyone who hasn't played this, um, you might have heard of a game called Theme Hospital, which was released a long, long time ago. This is basically a sequel to it. It's exactly, it's made, I, th I believe it's made by a different company, but it's exactly the same graphics and gameplay style and everything. I think they might have just bought the rights to Theme Hospital, essentially, and, and, uh, and sort of made their own version of it. Um, and this, this is just superb, this game, absolutely incredible. It's just so much fun. Um, so let's crack on with it, shall we? In our first hospital here in, uh, well, in Hogsport. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Let's move on in and see what we have to do, shall we? Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes, I am. Ah, oh, right back to basics. How do I move about? That's fine. I can I can handle that myself. There we go. We can spin. We can zoom in. Oh look, I've got to move the camera. It's my first my first task. There we go. All good. Let's build a reception desk. Right, so th this is starting off very basic, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, now I'm not going to build it where it tells me to. And uh, no, let's just see if I can remember how you turn. Ah, yes, there we go. Z button turns. Uh, I do like my reception to be at the side here. <clears throat> Let's hire a receptionist. Hmm, what have we got? You're motivated. You're emotionally intelligent. Okay. Uh, stamina and qualifications. Do you know what? I might just go for the cheapest one first. There we go. You work at the desk. <clears throat> GP's office. Lovely. Let's get office. You're going to go over in this corner here. So one thing I've learned from playing this game, <coughs> excuse me, is generally you make the rooms as small as you can um, to fit in as many different rooms as possible. Occasionally you'll make something that's a little bit bigger and that's fine. Enjoy your stay at the hospital um, as much as you can. But yeah, on the whole you just want to sort of squeeze in as much as possible. So what it does, when you build a room, you have certain items that you have to put in. So in this case, you've got a filing cabinet, a door, obviously, and a desk. So the ones with little stars are the ones that have to go in. And then you've got all your optional extras, and there's all sorts of things here. A lot of them are unlocked, uh, and a lot of them are locked. So you have to unlock them with various different things. I'm not sure why that says you can unlock it for no pay points. All sorts of things in there. I've got most of the expansion packs um, with the game, so there's a lot of extra items here that come in those various expansion packs as well. But obviously they're not unlocked in this save game because I haven't earned them yet, uh, which is fine. So let's... Uh, now, as you know, when I play these games, I do like to make everything look nice. So if you can, uh, instead of rotating, you can... Uh, where is it? You can hold... There we go. If you hold down control, you can actually uh, use the left mouse button and you can place things at, at a jaunty angle. So sometimes I like to do that. Just It doesn't really work when you're trying to fill up a room quite a lot. Um, but yeah, sometimes it can look good. Uh, so let's get a bin. Do I have a big bin? Oh, tell me. I've, no, I haven't even unlocked a big bin yet. That's Wow. It's very basic, isn't it? Well, that's fine. Let's give him a little bin. Yeah. 
and uh, I think that's probably about it. Uh, I don't. Oh yes, I could give them plant. Actually, no, I'm not going to give them plant because plants need maintaining, and that's that's a lot of hassle. Right, let's hire ourselves a doctor. Ooh, diagnostics. That's a good one. Lily custard and Wilbur Juggle. Oh, I do love their names. I really do. There we go. Got ourselves a little GP's office up and running. What other rooms can I build? Oh, at the moment, nothing. Okay. Yes, I know how to zoom. That's fine. I know how to rotate. I know how to pitch. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. I do love the radio in this, uh, in this game as well. I'm hoping I've got the sound volume set right so you can still hear me over the top of the uh, the music and the radio but honestly just listen for the music and the radio because it's so much fun it's absolutely hilarious and every expansion pack they get the same voice actor to come back and do more talking it's so good you also get a receptionist talking over the uh, the internal tannoy system as well which is very funny so here we go look we've got our first patient in Alf stop what do we think's wrong with him Oh, we diagnos diagnostics him. <laughs> we diagnosed him. What do we need? We need to build a pharmacy. Great. I can do that. Yeah, I'll get the patient to wait. Let's build a pharmacy. Little pharmacy can go in next door. There we go. Let's give them a little bin. Nice and simple. And for that, we are going to need... Oops, uh, no, don't need that one. I need to hire a nurse. Let's go nurse for a nurse with a bit of treatment. Pharmacy. Montgomery Rancid. Oh, that's a great name. There we go. Now, items. Good items to put down outside these places, these benches, because people don't like to stand around. So let's get a couple of benches down. And you can also make money by putting down drinks machines and snack machines. So let's just, let's just get a couple of them in as well. Not really needed in this first level, I'm sure, but no harm, as long as I can afford it. Right, am I going to cure my first patient? Let's find out. Yay, look at that, $5,000. I've cured my first patient. Well done, we've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, patient their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep money coming in so we can expand Some the hospital. Okay. We just cured our very first patient. Wonderful. That's what we like, isn't it? Right. No, it's not giving me any, any other rooms to build yet. That's a shame. So let's... Uh... Ah, here we go. Now we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate, deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Yeah, I've had that quite a few times. Fires are generally considered um, bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines while you're at it. Make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry, right? Absolutely. So what we want to do is hire a janitor. Ooh, let's get someone with a bit of maintenance. Uh, yeah, let's get you. So we plonk our little maintenance guy down. Now what I've learned, you need fire extinguishers in certain rooms. So anything that's got a machine like this one in, you're best off getting a, uh, a fire extinguisher in there. And what I also try to do is get a few out in the corridors as well. Um, because they're one-use items, so if you if one gets used and you you miss it and it's in, in the room and you don't have one and then it catches on fire, they have to run out into the corridor and try and find one. Keeping people happy. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks and a comfy seat. Oh, look at that, see? I know all of that. I've done it already. Uh, if they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. Well, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. I know all of that stuff. Ah, place a leaflet stand. So that's one I haven't put down yet. Let's scroll down and find a leaflet stand. Here we go. 
uh, and things like this you can plonk right out in the middle of the corridors, it's not a big problem. There we go. So up in the right hand side here, as you saw there, it gives you your uh, your objectives for um, for this particular mission. Look at this, we've got all sorts of cool stuff in here, haven't we? Staff get tired as they work, do they? Oh, that's a shame. And we'll eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energised. Drinks and snacks help to keep them healthy too. Uh, happy too, sorry. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. Yeah, so there are obviously advantages to making rooms big. But on the whole, I've discovered that you, with with this sort of room, with these rooms, you you really want them to be as small as possible, just so you can fit in as many rooms as you can. So let's get a staff room in this little gap over here, shall we? That ought to be plenty big enough for this first level. Let's get a door in there. Now, what sort of cool stuff have I got to go in here? Yeah, not a huge amount. Lots of Sonic themed stuff. A little bit random, isn't it? I'm guessing uh, the manufacturers or the uh, you know the, the the company that made the game must have done a deal with Sonic uh, or Sony, I suppose. I think I think it's Sony that owns Sonic. Look at that! You've got arcade games. Oh blimey! There we go. Wow! Look at that! That's massive. Well, we don't need that. I think just just get a couple of sofas in. Keep it simple. Maybe an armchair. Let's get an armchair. Over there. Uh, let's get a locker or two, maybe in the corner there. I don't generally put windows in because they just take up wall space. Get a bin next to there. Do we have some entertainment that I can really afford? A hat stand. It's kind of funky, isn't it? There we go. Let's give him a hat stand in the corner there. There we go. Prestige level you know, three. I've That's not bad, is it? I don't think got any rugs or anything. Wall wall dressing. Oh, look at that. I can give him some little banners. That's kind of cool. There we go. Brighten the place up a little bit. Like that. A sonic tree. Oh, wow. I'm not too sure what that is, really. Oh, a sonic rug. There we go. Let's give him a sonic rug. I like that. Great. There we go. That's a pretty nifty little staff room. Staff will head to the staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. I've done all that. Right, what have we got down here? New illness. Clamp discovered. Our doctors have discovered clamp. Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go, obviously. I do love the illnesses in this game, they're so funny. Uh, afflicts many living statues and self-talking chumps. Selfie talking chumps. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Okay, well that's good, so I don't need a new room. Ah, promotions. So when this comes up, always, always, always promote people, otherwise they get angry. So you promote them and generally I, I, I move this up until the smiley face appears. Because it means that they are promoted and you're giving them a pay rise. Right, now we've got a problem here because our receptionist has gone on a break. Ooh, Charlie work. What's this? Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy but they can lead to littering if there are no bins. While we're at it, staff and patients will get grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. Okay, so I need toilets and bins. But I also need another receptionist. Oh no, you're a janitor. I didn't mean to hire you. Go away. Let's try that again. Assistance, there we go. Let's get you. You're pretty qualified. And in fact, what I'm going to do, because I've got two receptionists now, even though one of them's on a break at the moment, uh, the other one will come back. So I'm going to build a second reception desk there. Now, yeah, I haven't got any bins out here, so let's put a bin on the corner over here. And let's get a bin there. Cool, that's been sorted. And we now also can build toilets. So let's get a toilet in, shall we? Now toilets can be quite small actually, so let's do 
Let's do a little toilet block like this. There we go. So we got our toilet block in like that. So just three toilets. And then you need a sink and a hand dryer. Let's give them a little bin as well. There we go. Nice, look at that. A nifty little bathroom there. So the janitor will look after that as well. Are we making money? I think we are. Further diagnosis. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnostics room or diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send the patient for further diagnosis. Here we go. General diagnosis unlocked. Let's get another room. Let's come into here. Oh, hospital level. Hello. As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP's offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so let's just get a little general diagnostics room in over here. Get a little machine and a bed in this room. Let's also just give them a bin and trusty fire extinguisher. I think that will be fine. And I'm going to need a nurse to go into that room as well. So let's get another nurse. Uh, your diagnostics. Yeah, great. You'll do nicely. There we go. Now, at the moment, all my staff can jump around from room to room. Um, but what you can do, if you go into the staff menu down here, and go into staff you can tell them to go into certain rooms. So if I click on my nurses here, um, where is it? This is, yeah, job assignment. You can say, right, I want this one to only be in the pharmacy and not in there or in there and not in there. But at the moment, let's just leave everyone going everywhere. Just keep it simple. Now what I might just do is get another GP's office. I think it's kind of hinting that I might need another one. Uh, now what you can do, luckily this is something they added in into one of the various expansions, is to copy the room. How helpful is that? There we go. And then I will hire another doctor. Ah, general practice, that's what we want. Someone who's a specialist in GP. Let's get a couple more benches down, shall we? Make sure people have got plenty of places to sit down. Um, is there anything else I can put on the wall here? Not yet. No, there's an awful lot of things to unlock. News flash. There's a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office. Ah, look at that. I've just done that. And some more staff. That's absolutely fine. I'm doing okay. Increase hospital level to four. Current level is three. Okay. Ah, here we go. New illness. Misery guts. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, misery guts, chronic grumpiness due to nihilistic semicolon. <laughs> that's brilliant. We'll send the patient treatment in our pharmacy. Oh good, so it's still only the pharmacy that's needed, that's fine. Um, so if you hover over the door it shows you who's waiting, so we've got two people waiting for that, so that's not too bad, but we'll keep an eye on that, make sure we don't get a massive queue. Right, how do I increase this? Increase your hospital level by expanding. Build more rooms, hire more and better qualified staff, or promote and train your existing staff. Okay, that's fine. So at the moment, I think I'm probably okay. Um, I could do another pharmacy. He's clearly suggesting that I need another room. Ah, no, look, we've got a ward. Let's put a ward. We're going to need a ward at some point, so let's get it in. Um, wards need to be pretty big. Let's do a long, thin ward, shall we? With a door there. One little reception desk there, I would say. And then let's get... Actually, let's get that there, and then I can 
see how many beds I can fit in. Actually, how expensive are beds? They're quite expensive, so I don't want to put too many in yet. Um, let's do... So these beds have to be spread out so, you, so they're all green. That means you can actually access them all. Uh, no, that's not quite going to fit another one in there. Although, I think I can probably move that back. Can I fit another bed in? Yes, I can. There we go. Let's get just get four beds in there for now. And um, let's just give them a couple of lockers. What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, no, who doesn't, doesn't really like good, does gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait. The sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. There we go. We have our ward. So wards can do both things. They can... Um, Oh, hang on, let's just look at this. New illness, bed face. A doctor has discovered bed face, a quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed pro protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. Okay, that's fine. Right, another promotion. Layla Malarkey, what a great name. There you go, you can be promoted. Bogwarts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Great, so that's pharmacy base, that's fine. So yeah, the um Let's just get another nurse. Ah, hospital star rating. The two point health ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organisation. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. Continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one star rating. Okay. Right, I just need to get another nurse in the ward. Kudosh, so this is your K number. This is how you unlock items. Um, and you, you you just generally get it as you play the game and there are later on there are research centers you can build to get more kudosh as well so that's all good um, as I was saying sorry the ward can both diagnose patients patients and treat patients so that's cool uh, oh look at this we've got a guy with a light bulb for a head that would be lightheadedness <laughs> what's his name Timothy Hoofer Lump. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh dear. Right, how are we looking over here? Cure three patients with lightheadedness. Now let's just double check illnesses. Where does lightheadedness go? Oh, I haven't actually got lightheadedness on here yet. At the moment, everything is warden pharmacy, so that's fine. Let's just leave it like that. Uh, I think lightheadedness is a separate room. Oh yes, there it is, look, Deluxe Clinic. So I'm going to need to build one of these. So let's just get on and get that built. Um, how big does it need Security to be? Minimum room size 3x3, three three. yes, it's only a little one. So let's get that in here. Big old machine in the corner there, and a console. Let's give them a bin. And a fire extinguisher, of course. There we go. And I think this room, if you click on the room, it tells you what they need. If you go into, uh, no, where is it? Stats. Needs a doctor. So I've got three rooms now that need doctors. At the moment, my staff can all move between rooms, but I'd rather have enough staff to cover the room. So let's just get another doctor as well. So now I've got three doctors and three nurses. Is that right? Let's just check that. Three doctors, three nurses. Yes. So I've, I've got one per room, which is it's not perfect, but it's okay. Because obviously, when they're on a break, it means that they're, they're not doing their job, are they? But we'll be okay. Oh, look, my ward's getting pretty full up. Now, the ward, you can actually assign more people to. So if you go into stats, extra staff, 
Um, there you go. So I can I can make it so you can have two nurses in there at a time. You can also make it so it only does diagnosis or treatment. So in big hospitals, you can have multiple wards doing different things, which is very handy. I think that again, I think that was something they added in in uh, a later expansion pack. I might be wrong with that. I can't quite remember. What are you doing? Go and sit on that desk. Now where are you going? Get back to work. Look, you've got someone waiting for you there. There we go. Um, actually thinking about it, what I could do. I think, I'm not too sure, but I think if I put a couple of benches in reception, people might sit down while they're waiting. Can't quite remember if it actually works or not. It looks nice anyway, doesn't it? If you've got a few benches in reception. Right, how are we doing with our objectives? Two out of three cured. Oh look, he's playing with a Rubik's Cube. She's playing with the Ru Rubik's Cube, actually. Did you know when holding an item, you can free place it at any angle and by holding the left control key? Yes, I've discovered that, thank you. So I need one more patient with lightheadedness. Here he is, look, there's one more. So we have got, see we've got two nurses working in our ward now. Um, unfortunately that means we haven't got one over here, but I assume someone will leave and go over there to work. No, okay. No, that, that's the problem. You need to make sure that you've got enough people. Oh blimey, look, they're all very expensive. Um, obviously this isn't their initial cost. Gilbert Belcher, that's a great name. So this is their main fee when you first hire them, so I'll, I'll get him. He looks good, he's qualified. So what I like to do later on in the game, it will be to, um, to train staff in particular skills and then assign them to certain, um, certain rooms. So, for example, your GPs, you make sure you train them up in specifically just in general practice. And then you make sure that they can only work in this room. And it's just a way of making it more efficient, basically. So if, if someone's skilled up in a particular room, so for example, your pharmacy, you want them to be really good at treatment. So you treat, tra oh, excuse me. You train them up in treatment and, um, and assign them to just a particular room. And it just increases the chances of, of them being successful in treatment and it speeds up the process and stuff like that as well. So. Yeah, lots of good reasons for training up your staff. I'm also a bit of a perfectionist um, with the skills. So these are all their skills. So this one, for example, Noddy Anorak, which is another Hannibal Tart, Dwight Tootsuit. I mean, these names are just awesome, aren't they? Uh, so this one here, he's good in, in the ward and then pharmacy, I think that was. Here we go, look. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating. Oh, thank you very much. Out of a possible three, so still more to go. Uh, continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets, if you believe that you're capable of more. Turn as every run before you can walk and begin to expand your organisation by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice is yours. So, I get some cash, I get some kudos, so I've got 100 kudos to spend now. It unlocks another hospital and I get a new item put in which is a light-headed poster uh, so that's cool so I'm going to continue I want to get all of these things up to three stars before I move on to the new hospital that's my plan so as I was saying about skills so you've got ward management you've got pharmacy management so you can see here increased pharmacy skills plus 20% treatment skill you've got diagnostics and then you have things like these sort of personal skills I don't like these ones I like these but what I like to do later on in the game is try to hire people with no skills whatsoever so they're completely empty and that just gives me the chance to train them up how I want oh no sad news our first patient death Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they are waiting too long and their health deteriorates. The hospital reputation will suffer as a result. There's also a chance the patient will return to haunt the hospital if that happens. We'll need a janitor with a ghost capture qualification. Okay, that's fine. Ghosts, yes. So basically when people die, they can turn into ghosts. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a ghost. Um, 
so they 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 go around they haunt people uh, there he is so what you need is a janitor with ghosts which we don't have hmm okay is he giving me no it's not giving me a training room either so at the moment I can't do anything about that that's a shame what I need to do uh, you've got a maximum of four people on here at the moment so what I'll do if I get rid of one I'll get a new applicant turn up and hopefully that new applicant might be someone who can capture ghosts we will have to wait and see so we got a new item didn't we what did we get we got a poster let's have a look at the poster a light-headed poster so this is a good one to put in your light-headed room obviously because it's relevant uh, to that particular room. Did you know you can view a few lists of staff, blah blah blah? Yes, I did know that. We've also got 100 kudosh to spend. Oh no, we've got 180. Look, actually, down here, bottom right corner here, we've got 180 kudosh to spend. So let's have a look at what interesting things I could think about buying. Not that much. Now, why are these locked? Unlock for KO. It's telling me that I can unlock that for naught. Oh, I can. That's interesting. These might be expansion pack items that I've automatically unlocked, so it's letting me unlock them for free, uh, which is good. Uh, if it's going to let me do it for free, then that's what I'll do. Here we go. I might as well get as many of these as I can. There are so many items in this game now. Oh, the flying ducks, they're cool. Ah, pinball machine, that's good. Oh, we've got a few good things here to put out in the corridors. Keep people entertained. Oh, look at this, there's loads here. People need a bit of entertainment when they're waiting around in the corridors, so it's good to have these things. In today's there headlines, lottery nice. winner Arthur Compass has announced winning the uh, jackpot. Let's just hasn't have a look down here. Star promotion. Let's he give someone a promotion. Who, who's this? Jake Rhubarb can be promoted. Wonderful. Hovercraft. We just have too many nurses. Okay, I don't mind. Right. So items. Let's get back to this. I know there's a there's a few things that I do like to get unlocked first. Um, these snack machines are handy. Excuse me. Oh, I do apologise. I'm very, uh, very sneezy today. Right, the big bin. I'm going to go for the big bin. I think I must have accidentally spent some K. Some kudos. That was weird. sure my number went down right so yes yeah, so the big bin is a very handy one to have because the little bins can get filled up really quickly uh, the aircon units are also very useful I don't know how soon I'll get to use those but you start getting into hospitals that are too hot or too cold so you need to either heat them or cool them so I'm going to unlock this small aircon unit I don't really use the big ones but the small one is uh, is pretty useful magazine rack is a good one as well that gives people a good bit of entertainment so let's go for that there we go let's get a uh, magazine rack in shall we uh, let's just get another bench in there so if you want to sell items you just pick them up and right click and it automatically sells them so let's get rid of them and let's get uh, let's get a big bin put in Where's the big bin? I've lost the big bin. Why hasn't the big bin appeared on my list? Oh, it's down there. Okay. That's odd. I thought it clumped them all together at the top. Never mind. Let's get a bin outside there. I don't mind the ones inside the rooms being small for now. 
Um, it's the ones outside in the corridor that are the problem because that's where people drop litter. So what are my aims here? Get a hospital to level 6, earn 200,000, so that will just happen naturally over time. And cure 25 patients, and that will happen naturally over time as well. So yeah, looking okay. Um, I've got GP's room empty there. My ward is looking good, my staff room is looking good. Making lots of money, that's the main aim of the game of course. Oh look, someone's close to dying, why? What's going on? Treatment failed. Oh, oh they're going to die. Oh well. Janitor. Yes, here we go. Look, so this is ghost capture here. So, plonk her down and she will hopefully capture that ghost. Great. I've got a janitor walking around doing nothing here. I'm going to sack him. I don't need him. You, uh, at the moment, I only need one janitor here. And it was important that I had one with ghost capture. Remember, so that's you cool. Are strong and blessed. That to live is to learn, and that all bad things happen for a reason. Well, what else good was ones come to carrots. Those who What's wake. going? Uh, what is going on? Nice Doctor doesn't take words, on um, Reduces hunger, self-sustaining. That's quite cool. Maybe I can get some carrots. I'm not sure who uses these, but let's get one of them in. Um, rainwater. I'm not too sure why I want rainwater. Um, distributed in my my hospital, but okay. And uh, what have we got here? A dream catcher arcade. Okay. Well, I mean, these things are massive, aren't they? But I'm kind of tempted by that. Mm, yeah, maybe not. Maybe maybe one of these. That could be kind of fun, couldn't it? Oh no! Look, look at that. We've got a cake sale. Let's do that. Let's see if people want to buy some cakes. Oh, a lightheaded emergency. These are great. You get these little emergencies. It gives you a chance to earn extra money and reputation. So your rewards, if you cure seven patients, your rewards are 10 reputation, 10 kudosh, and $10,000. So let's say, let's say yes to that, because I reckon we can do that. Have I got enough doctors? Let's have a look. Let's just get one more doctor in here. It's always a good idea to have spare staff. So when you can afford it, say you have three um, three GPs offices, you'd want four staff that can work in that in that room. Um, head crab crabbedness discovered. The sufferer's head has been seized by a rare form of parasitic crustacean. Fortunately, a treatment is available that wrenches the creature from the victim, leaving their head healthy and uninfested. We'll send the patient for treatment in our deluxe clinic. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's watch a bit of treatment in here, shall we? I love these. The graphics. I mean, look at that. He's just plucked his head off. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I love the graphics. It's so simple. It's so stupid, but I absolutely love it. Look at that. Have a new head. Nice. Right, we've got a lot of people waiting outside here, but that's because of the emergency. Nurse, um, go to the so that's fine. I don't mind that because it will hopefully be quite quick treatment. Not worth building another uh, building, I don't think. Although I'm just looking at the time. We've used 20 out of 90 days already. Oh, it is tempting to build another one because she's faffing around. Let's do it. You do have to be careful in the game that you don't go over the top. The good thing is you can sell rooms later on and get your money back. Here we go. Good, she's finished maintaining in there as well. That's great. So I've got two rooms now working on this um, this emergency. I just want to watch this again because it's so funny. Honestly, the, the thought that goes into all the different illnesses in this game is, is brilliant. Oh. 
wonderful. Look at that. Right, I think that's probably a good place to stop it. So we've got our one star. We're working towards two. So all of this is just slowly ticking along nicely. So hopefully in the next episode, I will get this hospital finished. Maybe up to three stars. We shall see. Um, but yeah, let's leave it there for now. And then let's, uh, let's continue in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me today. As always, I do appreciate your company. And hopefully you're going to enjoy this series. I know I certainly am. I'm, I'm already having a lot of fun getting back into this game again. Um, hopefully it's something that uh, that people are interested in watching. Because it's not, look at this. This is that crustacean head thing. <laughs> it's just got like a big crab thing sitting on his head. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this game continues, shall we? Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button. It would help my video to get out to more people, which would be great so we can share the, uh, the fun. And uh, hopefully I can see you again very soon. Until then, do take care. Bye for now.